Hello, everybody, and welcome to exercise 10-8, Capitalization of Interest. So here we have on December 31st, 2019, Maine borrowed $3 million at 12% payable annually to finance the construction of its new building. In 2020, the company made the following uh, expenditures related to the building. So we have March 1st, they made 360,000. Uh, June 1st, 600,000. Uh, July 1st, 1.5 million. And then December 1st is 1.5 million. And it tells us the beginning, the building was completed in February of 2021. Additional information is as follows. Uh, so they have over here, other debt outstanding and then interest revenue. So determine the amount of interest to be capitalized in 2020 in relation to the construction of the building. And then the second part over here is to compute or basically prepare the journal entry uh, to record the capitalization of interest and the recognition of interest expense, if any, at December 31st, 2020. Okay, so in order to figure out the amount of interest we're going to be capitalizing, we're going to be capitalizing the lesser of the actual debt versus the avoidable interest. And the avoidable interest is going to be our weighted average construction expenditures times that interest rate. So our actual interest first, and let's just kind of go through that one. So we have a construction loan, which was 3 million. And this is at, this was at 12%. Uh, then we also had um, bond or 10 year bond at uh, 4 million. And that was at 13%. What a six year note. And that was at 10%. And do, 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 okay, gives us, tells us that part of this was over here for land. And that's pretty much what we have here. So our actual amount of our interest is going to be a million forty thousand. Okay. So now what we need to do, this is our actual interest and our avoidable interest. That's what we need to figure out. So the avoidable interest is going to be our weighted average construction expenditures. And then similar to what we did in exercise 10-7, what we're going to do first is look at, do we have any construction specific loans? So when we're looking at over here in terms of the construction expenditures, right over here, we had 360,000, 600,000 on June 1st. 1.5 million on July 1st, and then 1.5 million on December 1st. However, when I'm looking at a weighted average, this 360,000 was outstanding longer than this 1.5 million here. So what I need to do is to multiply this by the part of year outstanding. And then that's gonna give me my weighted average expenditure. Okay, so this was outstanding over here from March 1st through December 31st or 10 months. This was outstanding from June 1st through December 31st or seven months. This was outstanding from July 1st through December 31st or six months. And this was from December 1st or December 31st or one month. So over here, I'm gonna to need to multiply each of these expenditures by the appropriate ratio. So here, call this A, B. So this was outstanding for 10 twelfths because it was 10 months out of the year. This was seven twelfths 
six twelfths, and then one twelfth. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to multiply each of these amounts here by the, whoa, let's try this way, times 10 divided by 12, there we go, 600,000 times 7 divided by 12, 1.5 million times 6 divided by 12, 1.5 million times 1 divided by 12. So my weighted average construction expenditures right over here were $1,525,000. So the avoidable interest is gonna be my weighted average construction expenditures, which is gonna be 1.5 million. 525 million. And then I'm going to multiply this by the interest rate. Now, note here, because what I do first is I deal with the construction specific loans. Because this 3 million exceeds this million 525, and this is not 3 million 525, I'm just going to go ahead and use this 12%. So my interest rate here is 12%. So my avoidable interest. is gonna be $183,000. Okay, so that's gonna be the amount of interest that I'm going to capitalize for the coming year. Okay, so I'm gonna use avoidable interest and this is gonna be the amount that I'm gonna go through and capitalize. Okay, so how do I now go through and record the actual amount of the interest expense? So if I come over here, so what I'm saying is of this million 40, I'm going to capitalize 183,000 of it. So when I come over here on 1231.20, I'm going to be crediting cash for the amount of interest that I'm paying. And this is gonna be a million 40. So this is to record So, however, the amount that I'm going to include in my buildings is going to be 183,000. And the difference is going to be my interest expense. Or it's going to be a million forty less as 183. So what we're saying is that we had a total interest of a million forty. And, but when I'm going to capitalize my construction interest, I need to compute avoidable interest. How do I do that? I take my weighted average construction expenditures. And what interest rate do I use? Well, if I have a construction specific loan, which I did of $3 million, I'm gonna go through and use that first. So that's gonna give me my avoidable interest. So I capitalize the lesser of the actual and the avoidable. The avoidable interest here was 183,000. So that's gonna be put on to the buildings. So when, it, when I'm being asked to go through and then to figure out what my journal entry is, well, I paid cash of a million 40, but I'm capitalizing this. So the difference here is gonna be going to my interest expense. So that's a problem walkthrough of exercise 10-8. If you have any other questions, uh, I look forward to seeing you in class and I look forward to seeing you on the next intermediate accounting video. Have a great one.